Art that you can go out and see in person is especially important because we're so used to absorbing information from this little device that is like the greatest reality show in the world. You've got to unplug people out of that little device, you know, and let them actually get out and see the brush strokes on a canvas or, you know, see the frosted finish on a piece of glass. It's an event for people who love art. People are here to create and make art and share their art and share their knowledge and just be together. It's based on artists. Just art, the lineup is artists. It's, it's not really at all for one second about the music. Here it's just kind of like direct contact with, with the people you're interested in working with. It's where we can all chat about ideas or figure out projects to kind of collaborate on go home leaving like, hey, this is actually sustainable what we're trying to do. This is inducing conversation that we want to have. I would describe my art as colorful, geometric, figurative, landscape, and narrative. It's real colorful, lots of emotion, expressive. It's not necessarily a certain thing ever really more just torn out feelings, I'd say, on the canvas, and they can all be just wildly different. So they're kind of like portals into other dimensions, basically. I'm not only doing painting, I'm also doing 3D animations, virtual reality environments. I like to just kind of create this organic flow with these like invertebrate-like forms to insinuate an organism of some sort. I've never been in such a kind of a a think tank like this. The opportunity to be with a lot of other really talented artists, not only get to connect with them, but also get to learn from them and what their processes and materials are and their philosophies. Discover that, wow, there are so many, you know, and you're like me, you know, it's great. You know, we're like a community. We're all different, we're all misfits, we're all kind of looking for some sort of situation to fit in and feel like we have something to share that's awesome, which we do. I think that's the main core of this whole experience for like visionary artists. People just wanted a place to belong to express themselves freely. And people saw that and then it just kept growing. Art's purpose in society was as a way of connecting to the force that sustains life. We have severed our relationship to that creative force. Artwork can help us reclaim our own voice and connection to that force. We've spawned off a really cool way of being. People see that, they're attracted to it, they want to be a part of it. They could choose anything in the world to do with their time. They're choosing to sit in this field, pick up a paintbrush, and fucking create what's in their heart. Hey, it's pretty awesome. I want to be a part of it. A little cheesy, but I don't care. Like, it's so cool. Seeing other people's art and seeing that there's potential to be that or do that helped to facilitate my wanting to be this thing that I would, without seeing it, wouldn't have conjured up in my own mind. So now that I'm on my path further, I get to see that happening, uh, people sharing that with me. And yeah, it's a continual kind of like fractal process and this is part of uh, keeping it going, you know.